So there are 200 high schoolers in the average North Carolina senior class. But in one remote Outer Banks community, there aren't even that many students on the entire island. Alistair Wilkins reports. And the thought of capitalism. This may not look like many students, but at Ocracoke School, this is the entire seventh grade. It's a different world here. Walt Paget is the principal for the 180 students living on this small, isolated island in the Outer Banks. You know, pretty much everything that happens on Ocracoke goes through the school. All students from preschool to senior year take classes here, which means teachers have to be versatile. One teacher teaches all the history, one teacher teaches all the sciences, so they're, they're very busy. School counselor Mary McKnight's duties range from teaching preschoolers respect to helping seniors prepare for college. Here with the pre-K through 12, it feels like I have 700 students. But there are some things Ocracoke School isn't able to offer, particularly as students get older. We don't have any AP classes taught in-house, so all those have to be done online. Despite those limitations, North Carolina gave Ocracoke an A grade on its most recent report card. Senior Ariana Trejo Contreras says she likes the flexibility online courses provide. I have assignments and I just sit down and do them like any other person, but just not face to face. By providing those crucial courses, Ocracoke also has the tools to offer more unusual classes, like forensic science and aerodynamic engineering. We've definitely um, tapped into a lot of resources that maybe some other schools haven't been forced to tap into. But what's it like going to school with less than a dozen classmates? McKnight says students support each other like their family. I mean, but with brothers and sisters, there's always like the picking and the nagging and the, you know, they know which buttons to push. For Ariana, the far stranger idea is going to colleges where individual classes have more students than her entire school. It's, it's really scary going from being in a classroom with five or six kids to maybe 300. Like, how are you going to fit in? Like, how are you going to be heard? Wherever she goes next, it's safe to say it'll be very different from this school. In Ocracoke, I'm Alistair Wilkins reporting.